Now our student had a second species that it will our GI by intestinal flux, other species of intestinal flux, which is heterophis, heterophis, which can cause heterophiasis. Now about its criteria. The adult form can appear shape, pear shaped as a pear shaped, very small size, two millimeter. Now the egg is small and operculated, having an operculum colored with yellowish to brown with thin shell. Okay. Now about its suckers. There is three suckers, not two suckers, three suckers, which are aura sucker, ventral sucker, and genital suckers. Okay. Now there is vitiline gland, the void clearly here. And two testes. And one ovary with simple intestinal seeker. You know, these uh, pathogenic parasites or trematodal plus of trematodal parasite be hermaphroditic. Both reproductive organs can be found with the same parasite. So there is no male and females, be separate, not be separated. Well, now about the location of the adult womb, where is in a small distance. The worm can be present in intestinal villi. About its intermediate host, there are there's two intermediate hosts, which are first intermediate host is the snail, and then the second intermediate host, which is fish. Now, the infective stage is what is insisting metacircaria that are found in the visual of second intermediate host fishes. Now, how can it be muddy to the, its uh, transmission routes? How can it be uh, transmitted to cause disease? The mode of transmission is occurred after ingestion of raw or undercooked fish containing insisted metacircaria. Now, you know the disease is called the disease that caused or mediated by such Heterophis flak parasite is heterophiasis. Now, we can diagnose it and by examination of fecal specimens. Her other criteria in this table can show you the shape, the color, stage of development when passes, specific feature and variation. Now, the heterophis parasite shape, we can say it is the smallest and the small, elongated or slightly avoid, avoidable, over avoidable. Now, operculum, egg, the slight knob are, sl slight knob at posterior end, which is sometimes be missed or not be detected. So it is difficult to from clonorchisanesis. This is the second difference. Now, about this color, the color, this one can be appeared yellow to brown. And this, and this table, must the uh, criteria here consent to egg stage. Okay. Now, stage of development when passing from the definitive host, human being, it is embryonated. Eggs contain mature miracidium. And there is a specific feature and variation related to this parasite. It is a simple clonorchis eggs, but with less distinct shoulders, upper economy. Now, is broader than any chlorotis sinuses. Okay, this has a criteria related to the trochitrus parasite, especially the egg stage, and the difference 
or which differ from that found in chlorocyanesis that it was the liver Other now here the morphological feature of the adult womb and uh, the pouch here can show you the the outer spines the pigment of this worm can be equipped with the spines cover spines it's very clear and void now the aura sucker and secrets very very clear here and there's the ventral sucker and genital sucker armed with spines now uterus call it now the vitellaria and posterior third exposition vitellaria gland and testes rabi round it to test it and and one ovary other slide also here we can see the stained slide of this pathogenic parasite both in left and right other slide uh, now about the morphology and life cycle and pathology and clinical feature and its distribution with laboratory diagnosis all of these criteria or formation related to heterotrophic parasite can be seen here and the other stages like circaria the ovum can be presented here you know our students the adult womb shape here presented with its points and equipment internal structures and self structures now the life cycle can start it when the human discharge over to environment and then over be bironated and the over can be treated the face intermediate host as mineral acidium when hatch from it to enter face intermediate host snail orgasms at undergo sporosis radius circaria the circaria leave the first intermediate host and enter the second intermediate host which is fishes now after fish eating on just in such non appropriated correctly second intermediate host for nutrition or fooding purposes the hemo can get the infection to be infected now the raw or inadequately cooked fish ingested by the final or definitive host I mean human okay now about its pathology and the clinical feature you know according to its site the wallet or infected there is a mild inflammatory reaction now the infected individuals can suffer or maybe asymptomatic or have abdominal pain when be symptomatic especially in the heavy uh, infection and less diarrhea can be anorexia and nausea now ectopic over have been found in the heart and the brain okay now it is found in the Nile Delta and Far East is with cosmopolitan distribution globally now the ova can be detected in the feces by examination for fecal specimens to be diagnosed in laboratory